Hi there and welcome to Website Builder Expert. Starting an online store is such an exciting step, but let's be real, it can feel a little overwhelming, right? You might be asking yourself, where do I even begin? What if I miss something important? And then there's the internet full of tutorials that jump straight into using one platform without walking you through the full process. And that's where this video comes in. Whether you're starting from scratch or moving from selling on social media, I'll guide you through everything you need to know to build an online store from start to finish and all in eight simple steps. We'll cover everything, getting your business ready, designing your store, uploading your products, and even preparing for launch. While I'll recommend some great e-commerce platforms, this video is about showing you the bigger picture. And not only that, but I'm gonna give you several of my pro tips that I've learned along the way so you can avoid some of the pitfalls that lots of other people fall into. So stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss any of those. So, if you're ready to start exploring builders, you can check the links in the description below to try them out after this video. Let's get started. Before you start designing your store or uploading products, there's some groundwork to cover. Don't skip the step or you might hit roadblocks later. First is your business registered. This is key to operating legally and professionally. Whether you're selling handcrafted jewelry or online courses, having the right licenses in place protects your business and builds trust with customers. Next, define your niche. Think about what makes your store unique. What can you offer that other stores can't? If you're not sure, take some time to research competitors. Look at their products, their messaging, and their branding. Find the gaps they're not filling because that's where your business can shine. And finally, create your brand. Your brand isn't just a logo or a color scheme, it's how your customers feel when they see your business. Is it fun? Is it playful? Calm? Professional? Take skincare brand Bioma, for example. Their bold packaging, bright website, and consistent messaging makes them unforgettable. Your goal is to create the same kind of impression. Pro tip, write down your niche and your brand ideas now. It will make the rest of this process so much easier. Now, let's talk platforms. With so many options out there, how do you choose the right one? Here's a quick breakdown of my top picks. Shopify, of course, the absolute gold standard for selling physical products, especially if you're planning to grow quickly. Then we have Wix, perfect for creative freedom and selling digital products like eBooks or courses. Next, there's Squarespace. This is ideal for selling services like consultations or workshops. Then you've got Hostinger, a budget-friendly option with AI tools that save you time. It's really important when choosing your platform to ask yourself, how many products will I sell? What's my budget? How much support will I need to set up and manage my store? If you're planning to sell hundreds of items, Shopify's advanced inventory tools might be a better fit. But if you're a solopreneur selling digital art, Wix could give you more creative control. Ready to explore? Well, check the links down in the description below to try out these platforms and see which one fits your business best. Your domain name is your store's digital address. It's how customers find you online. A great domain is short, simple, and memorable. Avoid numbers, hyphens, or anything too complicated. Think of well-known domains like Etsy or eBay. They're clean, professional, and impossible to forget. Most e-commerce platforms offer a free domain for the first year, but don't forget about renewal costs, which can range from $20 to $70 annually. If you're on a tight budget, check out registrars like domain.com. They often have great deals on first year pricing. Already have a domain? Well, most platforms make transferring it easy, so you can keep the web address your customers already know and trust. Pro tip, brainstorm a few backup domain names in case your first choice isn't available and make use of new domain extensions such as .media or .london. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, we have a whole host of videos designed to help entrepreneurs build brilliant websites, so please subscribe to the channel for more tips and advice. Designing your store is where it starts to feel real and fun. Most platforms like Wix or Shopify offer free and paid templates and designed specifically for online stores. But don't just pick the first one that looks good. Choose a template that's functional too. Here's what to look for. Simple navigation menus. These help your customers find what they're looking for in seconds. Search bars, a must have for larger product inventories. Space for customer reviews. These build trust and show visitors that real people are buying from you. Pro tip, some platforms like Shopify don't let you change templates once your store goes live. Take your time to preview and customize your choice to make sure it fits your brand. It's time to fill your store with products. When adding products, make sure you include clear descriptive names. Be specific, organic cotton tote bag is better than just tote bag. 
Detailed product descriptions. These should answer any questions your customers might have while also including keywords to boost your SEO. High quality photos. Good lighting, consistent backgrounds and multiple angles make a huge difference. If you're stuck writing your product descriptions, platforms like Shopify even offer AI tools to help. These can save you time and ensure your listings are optimized for search engines. No matter how great your store looks, you won't make sales unless customers can pay you easily. Most platforms support popular payment methods like PayPal, Stripe, and Apple Pay. Shopify and Squarespace also offer all-in-one solutions that integrate seamlessly with your store and remove transaction fees if used. Pro tip, always check your extra fees. While Wix doesn't charge transaction fees, Shopify waives them only if you use Shopify payments. These little details can add up over time, so it's worth choosing the option that works best for your budget. Let's make sure your products get to your customers smoothly. Start by defining your shipping zones. Where will you ship to and what are the costs? From there, you can offer options like flat rate shipping, a simple, predictable solution, free shipping, great for orders over a certain amount like $50 or $100, local pickup, which is perfect for businesses serving a local community. Now, pro tip, if you're just starting out, USPS flat rate boxes are a lifesaver. They're affordable, they're easy to use and take the guesswork out of pricing. Before you hit that publish button, let's double check everything. Test your checkout payment process to make sure your payments, discounts and shipping options work. Preview your store on desktop, mobile, and different browsers to catch any design issues. Confirm that all your settings, like currency and contact info, are correct. Once everything looks perfect, hit publish and celebrate, your store is live. Congratulations, now that your store is live, it's time to attract some customers. Now here are three ways to get started. First up is social media marketing. Platforms like Instagram, TikTok and Facebook can help you connect with your audience quickly. Second are email campaigns. Send newsletters with promotions, news products or behind the scenes updates to keep your customers engaged. And finally, SEO optimization. Regularly update your site with fresh content and keywords to improve your visibility on search engines. And there you have it, everything you need to build your online store in eight easy steps. If you're ready to start building, check the links down in the description below to explore some of the best e-commerce builders. And don't forget, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment with any questions or tips you'd like to share. For more tutorials and expert advice, visit websitebuilderexpert.com. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.